We made it to Tinker's Cliffs. Hard morning, but I am so grateful. So good morning everyone. Today has been an unconventional day on the AT. Unconventional is my word because it's just been so out of sorts. It's uh, woke this morning to really high winds. Uh, you can probably still make out the winds above me. Uh, I think I'm below them for the time being. But we woke up with these uh, really high winds uh, and freezing temperatures. And it had snowed during the night ever so slightly. But the winds were sustained all morning. And after yesterday's rain, everything still hadn't quite dried out. But at the same time that all of this freezing temperature and high winds was was uh, occurring, I had sunshine. And off in the valley, you could just make out birds singing. So it was like a conflict between heat and cold. <laughs> and so because of the cold and the high winds, um, I did not capture any video this morning. I'm actually about seven miles into the day um, and as of this morning, I just completed the Virginia Triple Crown. So the walk up to Tinker Cliff was, uh, uh, ever, was made even more difficult by the, uh, by the wind gusts. It was, there was a sustained wind. It was really high, but we had these gusts that you almost had to fight to stay upright. Um, so... Hopefully you enjoyed the compilation that I assembled uh, to, to showcase that climb. But uh, at least as of now, I can say I've completed the Virginia Triple Crown and uh, in about a little under eight miles, I will arrive in Daleville, Virginia and I will have completed Southern Virginia. All without a zero day. Pretty happy for that. Um, I will be taking a zero in Daleville. Uh, one to resupply uh, for the entrance into Northern Virginia. Uh, two, I will be visiting the outfitter there. And three, I'm gonna rest up my body a bit. Uh, and even more important, upload all of these days of content that I haven't been able to upload because of either limited cell signal or lack of bandwidth when in towns and things like that. So it is going to be a fast paced, work intensive uh, zero day in Daleville to make sure I get everything completed and still rest my body and uh, prepare to tackle Northern Virginia. So Tinker Cliffs were absolutely stunning. Um, I've shown several cliff views during the walk thus far. Um, the thing that makes, I think, Tinker Cliff so unique 
is not necessarily the view because there have been views all throughout this journey so far, but the sustained view, uh, the cliffs go for, you know, I would venture to say at least a half a mile. Um, there's some woods dotted in between, but the, the view is spectacular and sustained. And uh, I'm not sure if you could see it in the video, but just off in the distance, you could also see McAfee Knob where I was yesterday. And so today was a perfect day. And I know I mentioned yesterday about, you know, perfect days on AT and the challenges with the environments and things of that nature. But, you know, what I think I love most about tackling the Virginia Triple Crown is the very nature. You know, this weather the past couple days has been a challenge. You know, the fact that within a three day span, I've had 70 degree weather, sunny to rainy, snowy, icicly weather to today where it's sunny, but cold and windy. You know, the fact that I completed the Triple Crown under those conditions and still, in my opinion, have lifelong memories of those experiences, it only shows that how perfect this is. You know, anyone can day hike uh, to these, you know, anyone can day hike to visit the Virginia Triple Crown. And in so doing, you can really kind of plan around those days if, if you have that luxury and find the quote unquote perfect day to visit them and capture the greatest videos in the best conditions. But I'm proud that I backpacked over 712 miles in order to capture them in foggy, rainy, windy conditions. I'm grateful that I was able to meet them. And, and so I've checked those small goals off of my list of the ultimate goal of completing this through hike. It's a great day. Thanks for being part of it with me. Another wonderful overlook away to Dale Hill. You just can't overcome the beauty of this trail. This is a view provided by power lines, but this is Carving Cove Reservoir. I've been following it actually for a couple of miles now through the woods. I've been able to see it through the trees. This is the first clear view um, that I've gotten. Really pretty reservoir. There's the town of Daleville. Only a couple more miles left.
Well, everybody, we are in our final approach to Daleville, about three quarters of a mile from US Route 220. From there, we'll leave the AT to go into the town and we'll pick that up the day after tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to having this zero day. Looking forward to getting my sleeping mat <laughs> replaced. <laughs> I will fill everybody in on what it is exactly that I uh, replace it with. Um, other than that, uh, it was a, another terrific day. Very challenging, very challenging at the beginning. It was cold. I uh, finally got a cell phone signal uh, about an hour and a half ago and I was able to pull up the weather app and learned that with the wind chill this morning, it was 28 degrees when I went up and over uh, Tinker Cliffs. And so, um, yeah, it was very cold. My uh, hands were starting to go numb. It's very difficult to actually manipulate the camera on my uh, phone. Uh, but all is well and all is back to normal. I'm, uh, even back down to my shorts, <laughs> but it was a very good day.